hoping that I didn't give you the wrong impression last night. Wrong impression? Darling, I had a good time. Well, me too. It's, I don't know, I guess I figured that you, you know, were trying to avoid me because I was a little forward. Oh, hey. I was downright flattered that you were just a little forward. Well, good. Because that was one of the nicest dates I think I've ever had. It was. Well, that means you go out with me again if I ask you tonight, right? Yes, I like that. Hey. Hello. Well, look you what the devil dragged in. And for anyone's looking a little oh, red, boy. Billy Lewis, it's you. you. And to what do we owe the honor of your company today? Company? Mm. I'm a major stockholder. I'm here to do work. Hey, look, HB gave you inheritance. He didn't give you a time clock. You don't have to work here. But I do. I figured it's time I started earning my keep. Josh, you want to have a talk with her? There you go. <laughs> Morning. No, nope, I don't. What would be the point? I'm going to have a talk with Daddy when I get to heaven about her. Get up. Get up there. You're being a little overly optimistic, aren't you? Oh, sweetheart, I know where I'm going because Daddy's up there right now cutting me a deal. Yeah, speaking, speaking of Daddy, uh, I understand his uh, headstone is ready up at Cross Creek, so I'm going to head on up there and just make sure everything's in order. It's a good idea. Why don't you come with me? No, no, I can't. I'm too swamped to work. Although, now that Reeve is here... Uh, I might just have a lighter worker. I saw that. <laughs> you two are not taking me seriously at all, are you? We are, my darling. It's just that, you know, the bottom line is you don't know a whole lot about this kind of work, right? Well, how am I going to find out about this kind of work unless I just dig in and start doing it? If you two Lewis boys would move your male chauvinist butts out of my way, I can get to work. Why is it that when I want to see you, you're late, and when I don't want to see you, you're early? Don't bother answering that. I don't think I could, even if I tried. So aren't you going to ask me what happened with Philip? Oh, uh, what happened with Philip? Well, we're kind of in a new place. He and I have agreed to be terrified together, which in my mind sounds an awful lot like a, <laughs> a commitment. Hello? Are you listening to me? Hmm? What? Hello? Oh. I feel like I'm talking sorry. to the plants. I'm sorry. I've just had a, you know, pretty... F oh, I've had a full day already. I I went with Vanessa to the hospital. Vanessa? Yeah. Is she all right? Oh, yeah. I, I think she's going to be more than all right. More than all right? Then why don't you look happy? Uh, no reason. I don't know. <laughs> 
Come on, Jen, I just shared an up close and personal about my life with you. Why don't you tell me what's going on in your life? There's nothing going on in my life. Right. Something's going on, but apparently you're not going to tell me. Oh, I, I might be able to help you. I just, uh, yeah, I, 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 I wanted to talk to Buzz after being at the hospital with Vanessa, so I went over to the diner and, do you mind if I have, thank you. And I, he wasn't there, and there was this note. This note? Yes, it, it said that Buzz had to run some errands and he wouldn't be back till later tonight. I don't even know who wrote the note. So? So, I think I'd like to know where he is. Oh, so you're worried about where my father is? I'm not worried. I mean, oh, yes, yes, I am. I'm a, where is he then? Boy, this whole stalker thing is really starting to freak you out, isn't it? People sending him flowers and cookies and breaking into our firehouse. Yes, you're damn right I'm going to be worried. I'm waiting for something else to happen. Okay, okay. Has anything happened recently? Anything new? Not recently. Okay. So your car hasn't been firebombed. Bombed. You haven't received a gift, gift basket with all these body parts in it. You haven't even had a single rose. Oh, a gift basket with body parts. My, Thank you. What I'm trying to say so to you. Better. What I'm trying to say to you is <laughs> that maybe this person has just disappeared. You know, there haven't been any new cookies. There haven't been any new picture frames. Nothing, right? Right. Right. There haven't been any recent incidents. So maybe it's over. Come on, maybe there's absolutely nothing for you and my father to worry about anymore. And the well, it's so, it's soaking wet. Oh, this, okay, all right. I guess oh, that's, that's enough. That's thick, right? Yeah. Where? Just, uh, just put it down in the cellar. It needs to dry Where off. Where is this? No, it's around the corner. And, and watch here, let me get the hmm? door. And, and watch the light, because the light's out. I'll be fine. each other and you you pay up Fran to testify against me you should that to me and then you you kicked me out of your house like I'm gonna die I don't mean anything you should that to me oh but he's in a fight. He'll be sorry. Annie, I am begging your forgiveness. I am I am so sorry. It was a mistake. Well, That's we all, all make mistakes, Alan. I made a big, big mistake by trusting you. No, Annie, that's not true. I love you. Well, everybody loves me. I'm just that kind of girl. Annie, please, I am on my knees begging your forgiveness. Please. Well, I'm a fair woman. Mm. Ellen. Ellen. Oh, I want... I want your money. I want your mansion. I want your company, and I want all, and I mean all your stocks. You can have all of it, Annie. Oh, I was hoping you were going to yes. say that. What, what, what is this? The last will and testament of Alan Spaulding. Is everything spelled correctly? Well, yes, yes, yes. Everything's spelled perfectly. Annie, I will do anything I have to do to hold you in my arms again because I love you so Put much. Put it on the dotted line. <laughs> 